So guys, I am back with yet another Black Myth Wukong video and in this video guide people I'm going to showcase to you what has to be the best XP farm, experience farm, will farm in this game. If there's one better than this I'm going to be amazed. I'm literally earning just under 3000 will every 20 to 30 seconds, maybe even quicker. Guys, you don't want to miss this. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ, and I'm actually giving copies away of Black Myth Wukong. So if you'd like to win one for yourself or even a friend that doesn't own it yet, it really is as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed, and leave me a comment down below. The more I see you active and commenting on my Black Myth Wukong videos, the more of a chance you have of winning, because I'll pick one winner from one of my videos and announce them at the end of the week. I'll pick them from the comments section. So yes, good luck to everybody buddy another thing guys i am not the founder of this i was told about this by multiple people so if you know who the founder is please let me know it's probably best hit me up on my discord or twitter and i'll give them credit in the video description but either or it's wild it's unreal now there's two requirements you need one is you need to be in chapter four and you need to have access to where well, you need to be at the point of the web hollow and you need to have come to or come past uh, the pool of shattered jade shrine now this is a shrine you will come to uh i think it's a part of progression within this game i mean it's not out of the way anyway so yeah it ain't hidden anywhere so you should be good with this one the other thing you need guys is the ashen slumber transformation now this is a transformation you can get i think it's around chapter three maybe uh but yes i will showcase you guys at the end of the video exactly how you get that so from this shrine guys, from where we are, this is what you got to do. And you ain't going to believe this, it's mad. So from the shrine, we're just going to run around this corner and you can see there's a load of these hanging catacomb things. I'm not sure what they are. But if you run up into the middle of them, about here, if you transform and then de-transform with the Ashen Slumber, he explodes. And when he explodes, he takes all these out and you get around 2700 of that will. And many other materials too. Then you guys just simply go back and rest. As simple as that. And then you run back. That's how wild this is. That is how wild this farm is. Now I have um, I've tried using the talisman. I think it's called the incense something talisman, I can't remember. Which makes you basically I've got it actually equipped to my quick access slots there. The incense trail talisman what that does is it basically fast travels me back to the nearest shrine i've tried testing it with that and it's way slower uh, because you get a loading screen and this that, and the other it's just way way quicker to just run back to this so that's what you want to be doing but yeah how wild is this people this is something i'm sure if they clock onto they may take it out of the game they may just despawn all these dudes after you've heard them once but it's mad just want to come to the middle of them i don't know if it would work all the way from up here but Send about the, the middle spot. Boom! Here it does. That is mad. That is mad. I've actually got a curious arm called uh, the Golden Carp, which actually gives me uh, increases the chance of obtaining materials from defeated enemies. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that's helping much in regards to different loot I'm getting here. But well, hey. And there may be other ways. I'm pretty sure there's armor if you pre ordered the game. That will give you more will. I may be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But hey, you'll get even more. And maybe even other items in the game too, guys. Which you can use with this to take advantage of it. But hey, this is mad. This is mad. Quick one more time. And then I'll showcase you guys where you get the Ashen Slumber transformation on. So you can take advantage of this. Because I'm pretty sure many of you are going to be wanting to take advantage of this. Now, I've been doing it for about five minutes. I was testing it. I'm not sure how many levels I've got. I'm quite a high level anyway. I've had four levels. <laughs> so yeah, if actually I'm on PC so I can hover above. No, I can't hover above you. I thought you could hover above your XP thing. Oh, you can. Well, there we go. So I need, I don't tell me how much I need, but you can kind of work that out. I need about 1100 odd. So yeah. If I do this one more time, actually, I'm going to get another level then. <laughs> I'm going to get another level. May as well do it, people. May as well do it and screenshot it for the thumbnail. You know what I mean? Now, I know most people already have the Ashen Slumber. I made an in-depth video guide on it, which I'll link in the video description. Anyway, I know it's a 
It's a quest line many people are having problems with. It's bogged for a few people. Uh, but yeah, in my guide, I covered every single scenario for you to get this. And it, trust me, it's not bogged. There's ways to get this slumber, uh, this Ashen slumber, so yeah. Okay, so how do you actually get it? So the Ashen Slumber transformation is tied to a short quest you can actually start pretty early on. Uh, so from the Chapter 2 Sangate Village Village Entrance Shrine, you need to progress this area and take out the Rat King and his Prince Son. And you can do this by following the path I take on screen now if you haven't done this now. I'm, I'm aware most people have progressed way past this part. If you haven't fought these yet, I'm not sure if you have to fight these. But if you haven't, you can always come back and do this, it doesn't matter. But either or guys, you must take these out for this quest line. So once you've done this guys, once you've took this pair out, you need to progress onto the second rat prince. This happens no matter what you do in regards to the first fight. But there can be a different scenario in how you entice him out. But either or guys, it doesn't matter. You will either entice him out with meat you got from the last fight. Or the rat king entices him out after you kill his son and he runs off. Either way, you'll fight him and you have to take him down. Now once you have taken him down guys, uh, you do now have to progress on all the way up to chapter 3 and get to the Pagoda Realm. Now once you are here, work your way to the first shrine of the Lower Pagoda. Simple as that. Once you've got this Lower Pagoda unlocked, from this point guys you want to head back to the Sangate Village Village Entrance Shrine. And here guys, we're going to make our way towards a small building in the corner where two rats are indeed hiding. Now we ain't going to interact with the rats straight away, what you want to do is you want to make sure you take out all enemies within the nearby vicinity. There's also a two headed rat here you definitely want to take out too, that's very important but leave none alive. Even those guys on the roof shooting those arrows, you can get up there by scaling up the back of this roof but take them all out. So once you've taken out the trash, now go and speak with those hiding rats. Now if you're unsure where these are, follow this quick route I'll speed up from that Sandgate village, village entrance shrine. But once you talk to these rats, clear out their dialogue and they should mention a third rat prince. That is very important. From here guys, you need to head back to that lower pagoda shrine and within the pagoda realm. And from here guys, you want to follow the path I take on the screen. Now you're going to go up a floor and follow the path all the way backwards on yourself. Now here guys, you should be greeted by the third Rat Prince. Once you fight him and take him down, you get this transformation upon taking that dagger out of his body. Now having looked online about this questline, it seems to be different for other players, depending on how far they've progressed the game. For other players, I've heard it's basically found on the third Rat Prince, whose dead body can be found within the cell below his actual fighting room which is very confusing, but that actually is the case for some players. Now, I've actually made a complete guide on how this transformation is obtained, which I will link down in the video description. It covers the entire questline, uh, mistakes people may have made progressing too far, and you can correct this and go back and get it, no matter what you've done or how far you are. So yes, I'll link that video in the video description. But there we have it guys, how you get the Ash and Slumber, and how you take advantage of what has to be the best XP farm in this game. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.